can use the, the focus tool to see if, uh, by the way, this is your focus tool. Make sure that's in the camera. <laughs> um, this is your focus tool. This is what you're going to be using to make sure that your, the, 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 your substrate is within focal distance. Um, and also for calibration. What you're going to be doing is there's a flat surface to a 45. So that 90 to 45, that's your focal point right here to the base, to the bottom of this. The base plate of the carriage, you're going to match, you're going to match that portion up to the, to the base plate. Um, and that will be at the bottom of that base plate. That's your focal point. Um, when, when you go into recalibrate, say you, you bring the, the cutting table up to zero focus um, and you need to recalibrate it, if you uh, go ahead and this is grayed out, but with the cutting table in will be illuminated, you basically open that up and then it will allow you to bring that cutting table up to the focal range and then allow you to calibrate. If you have the cutting table in and say as a student, you tell them you just have to recalibrate the table. Well, they weren't here for our training uh, lesson and they're coming over here over to lens size and they're trying to recalibrate it. It's going to give them an error. So if the cutting table is in, you cannot, you cannot override your main table calibration using this guy here. It will tell you you're trying to calibrate the engraving table, you have the cutting table in. Um, and vice versa is for some reason it's registering that the, the cutting table's in and then you go um, uh, and you are trying to, to calibrate the engraving table, it will tell you that you need to use the cutting table as well. Or, um, or if for some reason this is highlighted, the cutting table's not in there, and you click that, it will say uh, you need to uh, go to the engraving table. Uh, rotary, you shouldn't really have to recalibrate a rotary, uh, but in that case, there is a calibration feature there. Uh, autofocus. On the left side of the carriage, there's this little like white circle up underneath. It's a sonic sensor. So if you have a certain material in there, you could just hold down the Z icon and it will autofocus the, the table. Um, you, if, you, if you have something in there and it's under the sensor or you could modify the actual location, uh, The, where it says manual focus here, this is where you would modify the location for that auto focusing. Um, so say your um, where where your pieces are going to be are going to be the five and five. You just need to put in five and five, and when you pull down this auto Z, it will automatically move the carriage to that five and five location, drop the table, and then bring it up to where it thinks it needs to be focused. But for some reason, it's out by like an inch. Then obviously it needs to be recalibrated. Uh, that's when you'll go into the calibrate feature to recalibrate that as well. Um, camera, you don't have that feature, so there's really nothing there to calibrate. I'm surprised that's not grayed out. Uh, 